Good morning. It's Monday, May 20th, and last night was, I would call it a success. Most everything was drenched when I got to camp. Set up my tent, made myself a warm dinner, got in my warm sleeping bag, uh, hung up my wet clothes inside my tent. In the morning, they were still damp, of course, but uh, I was able to put them on while I was still in my seating bag and got them mostly dried out. Now, after hiking up a hill and getting warm, everything's dry. Today, there's a 10% chance of wind. I have like 54. And I am about 18 miles away from the Mojave Desert and I'm hiking in my puppy. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, so tonight the plan is to hike 24 or today, 24 miles to Hiker Town, get one meal there because uh, I'm short of lunch, and then hitch or get a ride to a restaurant that's just to the east that offers free showers, free camping and free shuttles. So, uh, win, 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 and a warm dinner to top it off uh, will be nice before we hit the Mojave. Have a good one. I will walk 500 miles and I will walk 500 Walks to be the man who walks 500 miles and falls at your door. I, I, uh, how is it going? 500 miles. Whew. Another 2,000 something to go. So I'm at the Weeville Market, and it was a pretty great spot to stop to before the desert stretch. They've got camping out back, uh, restrooms for us over the, through the night, and really nice people. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of the resupply, but uh, this wouldn't be a great place for a full resupply, but for a couple of days or a sweet tooth, you're, you're set. Uh, you're allowed to drink in the back too, just not in the store and their warm food, biscuits and gravy were awesome, and I had a steak sandwich, a Philly steak sandwich last night, which was pretty good as well. Super full, ready to hit the trail, but here's the resupply. Among other things, this is some of the hiker stuff. But we have a few racks of other items as well. But again, the people are what made this place the, uh, what it is. They gave us a ride to and from the store and uh, really nice people. So check it out. crazy weather day today. We hiked the Elliott Aqueduct, which is supposed to be the hottest uh, section of trail on the entire PCT. And 
uh, pe most people hike it at night because of that. We hiked it during the day and it was like 50 something degrees. We were wearing our puppies for most of the morning. The, it was overcast and it even rained on us for a little bit in the Mojave Desert. <laughs> uh, so we, we made it across the aqueduct, crazy flat, um, almost boringly flat. And then right at the end, there's a big hill climb through a wind farm. And holy crap, was it windy. I almost got knocked off the trail a few times uh, before making it up to camp, which is slightly more protected. Um, I got one of the more protected sites, which is great because my tent doesn't do amazing in the wind. It is literally sail material. But uh, Queso broke a pole after he set up his tent and cheese grater had to move her tarp because uh, it got the, kept ripping out the stakes where she had it. So this is a year of crazy weather, um, but we're making it through. Uh, we're hoping we might get a break on the weather at some point, but we'll, we'll keep going. Nothing's gonna stop us. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Good morning. It's May 22nd. And last night, the wind didn't let up all night. Again, I had the pretty pr protected spot, and I was still getting tossed. Uh, the other three were looked pretty tired this morning and didn't get much sleep last night. Uh, also, not only rained last night, it snowed. <laughs> I didn't stick where we were at, but up on the hill, it literally sticked. It stuck. Uh, but it looks like we're getting a little break from the weather today. Uh, ooh, there's a rainbow. Take a look. So we've got some clouds that are rolling through, but mostly this blue we haven't seen for a while. But today's gonna to be a pretty, well, reasonably easy day. <laughs> We've got a little bit of up, and then down to Tachapi. Uh, we have a hitch that we can take at uh, Highway 58, which is only 16 miles, or if feeling good, we can push to another highway that's eight miles away, or eight miles further, so a 24 mile day. But 20s aren't really scaring us anymore. 20 somethings. We did 24 yesterday and I feel fine today. So, little body soreness, but that usually goes away by the first mile or two. So, catch you later. So, I want to give an update on my Achilles issue. Uh, from the zero drop shoes, I'm assuming, or just the amount of miles I had of the strained Achilles at the beginning of the hike and really have been nursing it up until a couple days ago. Uh, the solution was a new pair of ultras, still zero drop, a new pair of insoles. These are the Soul brand insoles. And I cut the stock insoles about at my arch and put them underneath to give my a little bit of a drop back. Uh, that, as well as changing my stride going uphill, uh, walking on the ball of my foot, and I think that's been the major change. As I'm going uphill, my Achilles is really being stressed. While I'm going uphill, I'm using primarily my quads, and my calves and Achilles are going along for the ride, which I think has really helped the repair. It's been a crazy couple of days. Back on trail today for only an eight mile hike. We've got the full pack though, with a five day resupply on it. Uh, but I'll, I'll get there in a second. So we came to Willow Spring Road, the hitch into Tepachapi yesterday, or day before yesterday. And uh, it was windy, rainy, cold, miserable of a hike. 
he was definitely embracing the suck and we got into Tachapi. Uh, there was a, a bakery there that uh, we spent a bunch of time at. But right when we get, got there, we got some coffee and some food. And these two uh, trail angels, you, would ca you might call them, who give hikers a ride, started chatting with us. And it was like, it was information overload. They were talking about the town. They are talking about how uh, there's a terrorist camp near here. And if you see somebody with an AK-47, do not be worried. The FBI is keeping an eye on them. It was like, oh my gosh, we just we just got off the trail. This is too much, this is too much. <laughs> but we were at the bakery uh, a day early, so I had a, I'd already reserved a hotel the following night, but we had no place to stay that night. Uh, but uh, Queso was leaving to go to a wedding for a couple days, and he rented a car. <laughs> So we drove to Bakersfield. How's it feel, guys? We're going so fast. No, we're going so fast. We're going 40 miles an hour. As oh, as oh as shit! As opposed to three. <laughs> we're in a Mini Cooper right, right now. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> and got a hotel there uh, for like 60 bucks or something for the four of us. It was dirt cheap and a pretty good hotel with laundry. Got all clean, got everything charged up. Uh, and it was a, it was an experience. Just that. And uh, Queso drove us back to, well, we resupplied to Bakersfield. And then Queso drove us back to Tehachapi, where we were at the bakery again. This was later in the day. And uh, I asked the owner, if we could just camp on the ground in the bakery and she agreed she was like yeah sure uh they were like super nice we asked if we could help out in any way we moved some stuff around we made like 60 to 70 boxes it was so much fun it was this is a lot it was of passion awesome <laughs> <laughs> So then we camped out in the upper storage area oh, and got I got one of the best sleeps. Everything dried out because it got it was crazy uh, rainy the day before. Oh, I forgot. Uh, we were going to Big Five. Uh, this would be the zero day before we spent the night at the bakery. And we ran into a couple of friends that were in a hot tub. And we we're like, nah, screw Big Five. Let's hop in a hot tub. Grabbed a 12 pack of Coors and hopped in a hot tub. <laughs> well, I don't know, like 10, 20 minutes after we were in, in the hot tub, it started just dumping rain. And we had to <laughs> 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 Uh, it was great. It was just a great time. Uh, after the, the night in the bakery, uh, I got in touch with Bowser and Tropicana and Raven, and they're coming in to Tehachapi to today. So we are doing a full pack, not a slack pack, full pack, eight mile day between the highways around Tehachapi. And then we're gonna spend the night in Tehachapi again with the whole crew which is gonna be fun. But it seems like there's just no telling what's gonna happen. Uh, we, my plan, I already got a hotel like three days prior. The plan was to get in early, resupply, stay at a hotel, and then head out the next day. And 
by gosh was I wrong <laughs> in such an awesome way. Uh, it's been, been an experience. And the weather, we left with like gale force winds, pouring down rain, a little bit of snow, and exactly one day later, a day and a half later, check it out. The turbines aren't even spinning. As far as the eye can see, it's you know, mostly blue skies, perfect hiking weather, and yeah, back at it for another eight miles, or like six miles now, and then back to Tehachapi. Because that's what Trails Life's about, rolling with it. So, I'll catch you later. <laughs>